Here are some of the fakest things exposed. Number 8. Genius Bar 2 Trying to sell a fake iPhone is one thing. Those guys are all over the place. But setting up an entire fake Apple store, that's on a whole nother level. Yep, every now and then, a fake Apple store pops up somewhere in China. And some of them look so real, it's almost impossible to tell the difference, even if you work there. That's right, some of the owners go as far as convincing the staff that they're working in an actual Apple store. Fake Apple stores are a thing in China. However, China is beginning to crack down on copyright breaches. In February 2018, Chinese authorities shut down another elaborate fake Apple store right in the middle of Beijing. The store was shut down, fined a total of $43,000, and had all their fake products seized. It's easy to see why the stores can be misleading, because they do look like the real deal. At this particular store, all of the employees wore the same shirts real Apple employees wear. In a country that seems so uninterested in protecting brands and copyrights from counterfeits, the apparent clampdown is somewhat surprising. The Chinese government actually wouldn't give Apple the exclusive use of the iPhone trademark name in China when they found out a local company was branding leather goods with the name iPhone back in 2016. Number 7. Tastes Like Chicken Food safety in China has been a major problem for a long time. In recent years, there have been reports of chemical-tainted milk and baby formula, lead and cadmium-laced rice, fake eggs, fruit soaked in pesticide, and carcinogenic cooking oil, just to name a few. But don't think meats get left out of getting tampered with. Back in 2013, authorities arrested 904 people during their crackdown on fake meat operations. One group of guys made over $1.6 million by selling rat, fox, and mink meat, and passing it off as lamb. These guys would first buy the fake meat on the black market, and treat the meat with gelatin, carmine, and nitrate in order to spice it up. They would then sell the meat in farmers markets as lamb. Once the police raided Wei's base, they arrested a total of 63 workers and seized over 10 tons of fake meat. In just the first few months of 2013, Chinese authorities seized over 22 tons of fake meat products all across China. Authorities closed two factories for soaking chicken feet in hydrogen peroxide before shipping them to markets. According to Chinese authorities, the E. coli levels found in the meat were seriously above the proposed standard. Yeah, sometimes regulation is a good thing. Number 6. Raining Cats and Dogs We get it, with a 24-hour news cycle, reporters have to keep things interesting for the viewers. But come on, there's no need to blow things out of proportion on a slow news day. With all the fake news around, who knew the weather guys would get in on it? For some reason, the Weather Channel guys like to keep up the drama especially when there's a hurricane or two on the radar. It all started when reporter Mike Sadel was broadcasting live from Wilmington, North Carolina about Hurricane Florence, when he was shown hunched over and appearing to brace against a strong wind. In the video, he has one hand cupped to his ear and swaying back and forth while reporting on the conditions. It looks as if the strong winds are blowing him away and he's having trouble holding his ground. But while Sadel is explaining how nasty the storm is, the camera zooms out and in the background, you can see two guys in shorts, casually walking right behind him, not struggling to walk in the wind at all. Then the camera zooms back to Sadel and quickly cuts to a map. Busted! The Weather Channel defended Sadel by saying the grass was slippery at the time. Seriously, is a hurricane not exciting enough for these guys? Number 5. Boys in Blue In what may be one of the strangest scams of all time, a Chinese man set up a part of his house to look like a police station in order to blackmail people for money. This is just another level. The man, who police only identify as Lee, was arrested after he tried to blackmail his ex-girlfriend. For at least two years, he falsified public security bureau documents and warrants from his fake police precinct. Lei and his ex-girlfriend met in 2012. At first, she was charmed by Lei, who claimed to be an army captain. However, she became suspicious of his act, so she tried to break up the relationship. However, Lei refused and demanded his girlfriend pay a breakup fee of 80,000 yuan for him, quote, having taken such good care of her over the years. 
Obviously, she said no, since no one in their right mind pays a breakup fee. So, Lee threatened to publish some private tapes he had of the two of them. And that's when she had enough and called the cops. Once the police stormed his house, they realized that he had set up a whole fake police station. We're talking a place full of police uniforms, handcuffs, fake files, and even a complete interrogation room. The police also found out he stalked his girlfriend by secretly attaching a GPS tracking device to her car. At least he gets to hang out with real policemen now, right? Number 4. Wasabi isn't wasabi. Think you like wasabi? Think again. How many of you guys know that most wasabi served in the US isn't wasabi at all? Those little green balls that sting your nostrils and line sushi platters around the world are very rarely what their name suggests. What sushi restaurants actually serve is often a horseradish-based concoction, mixed with green food coloring and various types of mustard, as well as a bunch of less appetizing chemicals. Real wasabi is quite different. True wasabi comes from the stem of the wasabi plant, which grows nearly two feet long and is famously finicky to harvest. It's most often sold by the stem and served freshly grated. Very few people have ever tried real wasabi because the real thing is extremely rare. Experts agree that roughly 99% of all wasabi sold in North America is fake wasabi. Even in Japan, where most wasabi is grown, you won't have much better luck. Experts estimate that about 95% of wasabi sold in Japan is an imitation as well. The reason real wasabi is rarely served is mostly an issue of economics. There's a lot more demand than there is supply, largely because wasabi root is hard to grow and handle. True wasabi costs roughly $160 a kilogram at wholesale prices. As a result, serving fresh shaved wasabi to sushi fans would mean charging more than most customers are willing to pay. Number 3. The Purge For anyone that's a celebrity, high follower counts are critical, especially so for any self-proclaimed social media influencers who earn money on sponsorship deals. Obviously, the more people influencers can reach, the more money they make. Do we need to say that not everything we see on social media is real? How many of your favorite celebrities are employing fake followers? It takes a little more than just a credit card number and the willingness to spend to become a mini-celebrity on almost any social media platform. Most sites offer what they describe as active or organic followers, although we should know that they're just bots. For example, a company called Devumi sells Twitter followers and retweets to celebrities, businesses, and anyone who wants to appear more popular or exert influence online. Devumi has more than 200,000 customers, including reality TV stars, pro athletes, comedians, models, and even mega pastors. Who can we trust is real these days? Back in November 2018, Instagram announced that they were taking a huge step to eliminate inauthentic followers, likes, and comments on their platform. This wasn't the first time Instagram did a purge for fake followers and it likely won't be the last time. However, isn't it always funny each time to see which celebrity or social media influencer was actually faking their popularity? Number 2. Kong Foolery We've all grown up watching Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan movies and thought that it was entertaining. However, nowadays, how many of us actually believe that ancient forms of martial arts are actually mystical or were superior to modern techniques of MMA? Traditional martial arts suffered another blow in legitimacy after a Chinese kickboxer flattened a Tai Chi master with just one punch. 47-year-old Tai Chi expert Zhu Junping has been practicing his techniques for decades, but he hit the floor five seconds into a fight with 22-year-old amateur Yao Han Chan, who had only trained in kickboxing for six months. Organizers said Zhu is also a master with traditional weapons such as swords and sticks. Well, he definitely needed a sword or a stick here. Apparently, the fight wasn't arranged to determine the supremacy of one form over the other, but for mutual improvement. Organizer Li Yong defended Tai Chi for the lifestyle and philosophy, but admitted that Tai Chi is an outdated style that couldn't really stand up against modern martial arts. This wasn't the only time ancient martial arts were officially exposed. Chinese MMA fighter Zhu Zhao Dong sparked controversy by pummeling self-proclaimed Tai Chi master Wei Lei in just 11 seconds back in 2017. One Chinese tycoon even offered a prize of one and a half million dollars 
to anyone who could defeat Zhu and quote, defend the dignity of martial arts. Yeah, not happening. Number 1. MTV Airbnb Back in the day, MTV Cribs was a big fan favorite. How many of you guys watched that show? The show was supposed to give viewers an inside look into their favorite celebrities' ridiculous lifestyle. But yeah, that hardly happened. Most of the time when we saw someone showing off butlers, cars, and over-the-top homes, it was just rented. For example, Damon Dash allegedly rented Mariah Carey's London home for his episode. Then there's British pop star Robbie Williams, who used Jane Seymour's house and even hired butlers to appear. When 50 showed off Ferraris on the show and said they were his whips, they weren't. All the Ferraris were in fact owned by a private collector to be on the show. But really, the stars aren't the ones to blame. MTV encouraged the celebs to rent houses if they weren't impressed. However, not everyone listened or cared. Rapper Redman hated not being real and decided to show off how he actually lived, creating arguably the most popular and funniest MTV Cribs episode ever. Here's what's next.